Hello students. In this lecture, let us find the number of perfect matchings of K to N. The graph K to N is a complete graph with two N vertices. So K to N is a complete graph with two N vertices. So a complete graph is a graph in which every pair of vertices will be adjacent to one another. So now we are going to find the number of perfect matchings of a complete graph with two n vertices. That is a complete graph with even number of vertices. Let V1, V2, V3, V4, etc. Like this, let us have the vertices till V to N. Now because K to N is a complete graph, if we consider a pair of vertices from this set, it will be adjacent to one another. Now V1 will be adjacent to all the remaining vertices. That is, there are totally 2N vertices. So V1 will be adjacent to 2n minus 1 remaining vertices. Now, because of that, the vertex v1, the vertex v1 can be saturated, can be saturated in 2n minus 1 ways because it is adjacent to 2n minus 1 vertices. So the vertex V1 can be saturated by the remaining 2n minus 1 ways by choosing by choosing any edge because we don't know which are the edges incident with V1. I mean uh, which is the edge that we are going to because all the uh, edges will be incident at V1 because it's a complete graph. So we uh, we will be choosing one of the edge out of 2n minus 1 edges. So it will be uh, in incident at V1. So likewise the vertex V2. So uh, we know that uh, we are going to choose any one edge which is incident at V1. Suppose we choose that edge to be V1, V2. So let A2, I am sorry, uh, V2. Let V2 be the vertex joined at V1. So if we choose this as the vertex which is uh, adjacent to V1 and the edge incident with V2 and V1. Now, the vertex V3 can be saturated, can be saturated in how many ways? Now, these two vertices we have chosen already. So, remaining number of vertices will be 2n minus 3. So, the vertex V3 can be saturated in 2n minus 3 ways. So, similarly, now, uh, if we consider V4 to be the vertex that is adjacent to V3 uh, and that edge is incident with V3, then the vertex V5 can be saturated in 2n minus 5 ways. Hence, the number of perfect matchings, hence the number of perfect matchings in K2N. Okay, in the graph, in the complete graph with 2N vertices will be equal to the product of these many number of ways. That is 2N minus 1, 2N minus 3. 2n minus 5. So it goes on like that. So 5 into 3 into 1. So we could see that 
these are odd numbers so it will end up like this 5 into 3 into 1 now what we can do is we can number the we can multiply uh, like uh, uh, the even even uh, numbers that is here 2n so 2n minus 1 2n minus 2 2n minus 3 2n minus 4 2n minus 5 etc up to 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 so we have multiplied the even numbers so we have to divide by them 2 so 2n and then 2n minus 2 2n minus 4 it goes on like that 4 into 2 so now we could see that 2 is common everywhere so and the numerator is actually 2n factorial so numerator is 2n factorial divided by and here a 2 when we take out here we will be having n number of 2's actually. So we will be having 2 power n and next we will be having n into n minus 1, n minus 2 etc up to 3 into 2 into 1 and so that can be written as n factorial. So therefore the number of perfect matchings in kn is equal to 2n factorial divided by 2 power n multiplied with n factorial. So for example if, if we have k6, k6 is actually k2 into 3. So the value of n here is equal to 3 and therefore the number of perfect matchings in k6 will be 6 factorial divided by 2 power 3 multiplied with 3 factorial and that is equal to 15. So the number of perfect matchings in k6 is 15. Therefore, in K2n, the number of perfect matching is 2n factorial divided by 2 power n multiplied with n factorial. Hope you have understood the number of, uh, uh, number of perfect matchings of K2n. That is the method of finding the number of perfect matchings of K2n. Thank you.